Alrighty, hello everyone, we're about to do another playthrough of DDLC. So last thing we did is that we started the storyline with going after um, Natsuki instead of Sayori or Yuri. Um, that resulted in a couple of extra pictures and scenes that we didn't have before. Um, and I think we also got another side quest. Um, what sad story. Um, so yeah, we were able to get this picture, this picture, this picture, yeah, while following Natsuki's storyline. Alright, so what we're going to do is um, finish up with this storyline, um, restart everything, start out with deleting Yeah, see, it's just them now. So we got to the point where we deleted Monica, and she's like, oh, I'm going to give you this, and we're not here. Um, so we click with a new game. And she started her own club, Sayori. So I'm just going to skip through all this. Yep. Nothing new. Nothing interesting. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice, it's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Quinn. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around Sayori. Aw, Quinn. Don't, <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Quinn, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did, yada yada. We read through all this already. <laughs> I know how hard you're trying to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things Monica did, yada yada. Well, that matters. It's just us now. And you made the happiest girl in the world, yada yada. Okay, keep going. Forever and ever. Forever. <laughs> just like, no. Eh? But what's happening? Oh, did you hurt him? Ah! Sorry, I was wrong. This one happens here. Goodbye, Siri. But guy, goodbye, Quinn. Goodbye, Literature Club. And then it goes to um, the credits with Monica being like, hey, I have a song. I want this way to delete this. I mean, to skip this part. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Yes. Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? Yes. And not really any good at it yet. Like, Maybe there be a new message at the end of all this? I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. So, <laughs> The yeah. sound of the bench screeching is funny. <laughs> all piano benches screech, or squeak. The fact that she even wrote lyrics at the same time is really impressive. <laughs> I guess there's no way to skip this part. Well, guess we'll see this again. Um, so I guess the only thing with the, that's different is um the fact that we can get the extra photos when we go after Natsuki. Thought we at least get a different ending, maybe. Guess I guess not. Um. So now, after all this is over, we're going to start the game with literally just deleting everybody. Like, just get rid of everything. Like, what, what will that do? Oh. That special day. Oh, it was a game gl glitching. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be Team Sabato. Yep, got that photo now, so it is now a clear, bright photo. I guess we could go through and see what photos we didn't get. 
got that one. Yep, got that one. Meeting with Yuri. Cool, cool. Have a new Kalea. Yep, got the one where he was literally assaulting this girl. Licking someone's finger is assault. I'm sorry. We got that one. We are acting like I haven't gotten that one. Don't be silly. I literally have the directory. I have the cards. Uh, I guess it's like, oh, you didn't get that picture or that photo in this playthrough. Okay, that's fine. I'm sure there's a way for someone to get all these photos in one go without having to do the game multiple times. I want this achievement being able to go through the game once or something and get every single one of the photos that's here. Yep, those are all the photos, so we got them all. Nice. Special thanks. And extra thanks to Monica and Quinn. I already got the Monica song. I'll leave you be. Made with Love by Team Sabato. Serenity Forge. What a nice team. You don't see a lot of people being like, oh, Made with Love. Yep, and this is the same final note. All right, so that's all that. All right. So, we're going to open this. Yes. And what we're going to do is, that should give all the character files back, and we are going to start up with um, just deleting everybody and see what that does. Which probably should give us an achievement, might give us another ending, I don't know. I'm just experimenting now. What will it take? Do, 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 do. Should give us the exact same warnings as last time. We get it. Da -da -da. Yep, I agree. I concur. All right. Doki, doki. All right. Exit. Yep. All right. So we're gonna start out with literally just delete everybody. What does that do? What What does this do? Unable to delete, alleviate access permissions are required to perform this action. Really? So they can't, they won't let you. Huh, all right, well we already deleted Yacht Monica, so let's see what that does. It probably just end up, so she's still here right now. Enter your name, let's just stick with Quinn. They won't let you delete the other characters. I wonder if there's a way to delete them. Eh? Eh? Uh, uh, what? Eh? This? What is this? Oh, oh, oh no. No. This can't be, this can't be all there is. What is this? What am I? Make it stop, please make it stop. What did that give us? It gave us this. It says delete Monica's character file before starting a new game. So if I were to try and go in, will she, Sayori, still act like that? Oh, Finny. Oh! So we just... And we'll do that every time. 
Yeah, it does that every time. So, I... Because Sayori gets the realization that everything here is, it, it's a video game. So I guess me deleting Monica fills her head with all this stuff initially. Resulting in her just hurting herself from the absolute beginning. <sighs> wow. Alright. Oh, and all the characters are gone. Now, so if you delete Monica, everyone disappears. Good to know. So I wonder if there's a way to delete everyone but Monica. Because I think there was in the first iteration of this game. And basically what happened from what I remember is like it jump started you to the ending of the game where Monica is in her mon monologue stage. She's just like at the, her desk, there aren't you? Her fingers laced together, and it's like space in the background behind the windows. It's just like because everyone's dead, it's literally just Monica. So you kind of jump start to that part. So I'm wondering if they will allow you to do a similar thing here. Also, I'm surprised that didn't give us an ending, or more like it didn't give us a achievement. That's actually odd. I agree. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How the DLC delete everyone but Monica? Yeah, that's why I want. Okay, game, calm down. <laughs> So there's a thing to like, oh, how to get all endings. But I want to know how to delete everyone. Hmm. So there's standard ending. Let's see. So I'm looking at the um thing that's like, oh, you get a good ending. And that is you have to get do all these things. Oh. So if you do it the way they're saying, with the good ending, you'll end up with a thank you from Dan Sarbato. Interesting. Then there's a sudden ending. We did that one. We literally just did, but that, did that one. Then there's a play with me ending. I'll say somewhat brief ending can be seen during act two. Oh yeah, we got that one. It's when Sayori, like, I mean, Natsuki cracks her head to the side and she runs at you. That's an ending. And then there's some endings in the side store. So there only seem to be, like, three endings. Let me see. Let me see what the good letter ending, because we've gotten three endings. Good ending DDLC letter. Let's see what that letter is, because we got a letter from Monica. Yeah. Yeah. So we got the good ending already. That's where I was just like, thank you for playing the game with us, yada yada. Okay. Well, um, I think that is the best I can do when it comes to ending. So now we can go on to the side stories.
the good ending doki doki the ending is similar to the no ending but sayori deletes the files instead of monica hmm so it looks like we maybe haven't gotten all endings i don't know I would like to know how to do that, because let me, because I'm pretty sure we got the good ending, good ending DDLC, let's see, DDLC plus, specifically. Let me see if I can find a video of what the good ending entails. Can it makes it sounds like it um Oh, it is a little different. All right, and you still end up with the story from Monica. So apparently you have to work it so that um you doing do three poems for each girl for yuri sayori and atsuki which will um basically unlock a ending where you get a letter from dan Zavrato, not monica <sighs> um that might take some work to do and you know Unless there's some extra scenes, like maybe there's another poem. Cause let's see, let's count the number of poems we got from each girl thus far. Cause if we have three, three, well then I'm not really gonna worry about it. Cause then there would be no new poem. So this is from Sayori. This is Sayori's second. Okay, so we don't have Sarah's third poem because remember how she walked out on us. So that's Natsuki's first. This is Natsuki's second, and this is Natsuki's third. So we all, so we have all three of Natsuki's poems. Yuri, and this is a special poem. Aquaba writing all three poems for her. Hmm. So this is Yuri's first poem, second, an unusual one guess does that count as her third poem that's monica's first second and third and then only in act two and then the poem to act three final message and then acquired all of monica's other poems so this we got because have you read this An electrical signal from from some remote corner of my brain, connecting all kinds of circuits and nerves and chemicals in a web understood by nobody. The chemicals make my chest tingle around my beating heart. The nerve make my hand move, staining a dead tree or some dark substance. The ink reflects light into your glimmering eyes, holding this paper so almost as though you are holding my hand which wrote it. Let our emotions stir together until our hearts beat in harmony. Connected to each other, I feel electrical. Or electric. There it is. Huh. So we're missing Sayori's third poem. And I think also maybe Yuri's third poem. So maybe we can work to... Oh, what's this? And we see delete Monica for the second time. They're cute. Aw. Alright, well, um, I might work on that. But I think for now we just start a side story. How about that? Hmm. Alright. Begin the side story, yes. It's called trust. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, everyone. The literature club is starting. Let's all have a seat and take attendance, okay? Hmm? Ugh. I miss debate club. Who knew it would be so difficult to start a new club? I feel worse with every day that passes without anyone coming in. I'm, ri- I'm really starting to lose confidence. Monica is the only member of the literature club. In the days that have passed, all of her efforts to recruit new members have been fruitless. Am I going about this wrong? Monica glances at one of her fly- flyers. The headline is, do you like literature? Maybe nobody is into literature enough to pick it up, to pick it over their other club interests. I can't just rely on people liking literature. I need to sell them as a vision, a vision. <sighs> but what kind of vision? Monica rests her head on the desk, deep in thought. But before she realizes it, the recent nights of staying up too late start to catch up with her. It's so quiet and the noise of the air conditioner is soothing. And she falls asleep. I feel like that at work sometimes. Um, hello? I knew it was the air. Suddenly, a voice catches Monica, snap, Monica to snap awake. I need to turn this music down. It's really loud. Um. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I never do this. <laughs> is this the napping club? No, this is... Monica pauses, suddenly embarrassed to admit that this is, in fact, the literature club. This is the literature club. Yay, I thought I got it wrong for a sec. I'm super sorry. It was like so unprofessional of me to do that. Don't apologize. I do that all the time. Oh? Um, did I miss the club meeting? Where is everybody? Oh, well, about that. This is everybody. Really? Just you? But we're getting more n- members. I'm working really hard on it. Hold on a sec. If it's just you, huh? that means I get to be vice president. Wait, vice president? Um, what are your qualifications? Well, I'm better at nap- napping than you. Maybe I should be president. Now you're just making fun of me. Oh, sorry. Um, what was your name? Sayori. Okay, Sayori. I'm trying really, really hard on this club. I know you caught me at a weird time, but it's really disheartening to be to not be taken seriously, you know? I care so much about this. I just want to find other people who do too. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I do care, I promise. I have a hard time being serious, that's all. I didn't mean it for hurt me. I didn't mean for it to hurt you. And I was joking about the vice president thing too. I'll make a terrible vice president. I mean, I'm sure that Monica tries to say something reassuring, but it's difficult when she still doesn't know much about Sayori. I'm sorry, this isn't like a real club yet. Would you still be interested in joining after I found a few more members at least? Well, no. I want to join now. Really? Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Besides, I didn't tell you work how hard you've been working. You're doing something amazing and you should be proud of it, you know? So let me help you turn something stressful into something fun. If nothing else, I'm good at that, so... <laughs> Honestly, how could I possibly say no to that? That's really sweet of you, Sayori. Oh, I'm Monica, by the way. Monica! That's such a cool name! Oh, now you're just trying to cheer me up. But you're smiling! Well, I didn't say it didn't work. Monica glances at the fly on her desk and realizes that her name is already written on it. So, what are we doing first? Well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? We can go home and try to come up with some new ideas to recruit club members. I can do that. Cool. And I think I need to put some more thought into my vision for the club. You know, like a mission. My mission is to make everyone happy. (laughs) Yeah, something like that. I need to think about it. Hey, do you like hugs? I guess so. Sayori suddenly pulls Monica into a friendly hug, then let's go. Some people can just really use a hug sometimes. Besides, Sayori whispers loudly, 
hug energy of what keeps me at my best. <laughs> hug energy? Monica laughs. Although Sarah is very different from her, Monica feels her spirits lifted. Maybe just because she finally found another club member. But, well, I'm looking forward to tomorrow then. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm excited. Blah, blah. I gotta think really hard tonight about how to get more people. Yeah, me too. So that's how they met. I wonder if anything terrible is going to happen in these either. A day passes and a time comes for the literature club Monica and Sayori to convene, to reconvene. As president, Monica ensures that she is the first to arrive to the club room. But she finds herself waiting longer than expected for Sayori. It's been 10 minutes already. Maybe Sayori changed her mind about joining? No, that can't be. She was so excited yesterday. But I'm getting kind of worried. Suddenly, Sarah comes bounding through the door. In her hand, she's holding a sheet of paper. Sorry I'm late, I'm here. It's okay, welcome back. And Sarah spins over to Monica and deposits the sheet onto Monica's desk. Oh, what's this? Take my hand, take my hand, take me forward. Take me to your dreamland causing me to watch my step so I can't look back at my footprints. Climb the stairs ahead of me while I look up to you. The more I look forward, the more I look up, the more I can lend to you. If you can trust me to follow your pace, I'll trust you to set it. If you can trust me to lend you a smile, I'll trust you to return it. Take my hand, take me forward, take me to your dreamland. Hey, this is really good. You wrote this story? Of course! Wait! Wait, no! That's the wrong side of the paper! Huh? I wasn't ready to share that! I'm so ex embarrassed! Monica flips over the paper. Written on the other side is a list of ideas for recruiting new club members. Oh, so this is what you meant to show me. But I'm curious now. Do you write poetry often? I do, but I'm sure I'm not anywhere near as good as, uh, as you are. <laughs> really? I'm actually terrible at writing poetry. I've never written anything I was happy with. Like, I always read it again a week after I write it, and I'm like, wow, this is so stupid. I don't know. It's like the dramatic version of me doesn't agree with the person I want myself to be, or something like that. Aww, you should have more confidence in yourself. You're the literature club president. <laughs> I guess you're right there. You're not wrong there. I can't read. You got the same idea, though. I need to, like, set a good example or whatever. Hmm, you know, I can envision the club doing something like that. Doing what? You know, like, sharing poems we write and stuff like that. Oh, yeah! I would love that! It's just a good way to learn about other people, you know? It's like we have so many emotions that we can't express to other people, and usually... But, uh, you can't express to other people usually. That's how I said. Um, but you can when it's in a poem, right? Yeah. I think that's helping me form a creative, cohesive vision for the club. So I'm glad you showed me. Well, even though it was by accident. Me too. I felt embarrassed at first, but now it feels kind of good that people el that someone else read it. I'll try to show you more of them in the future. I'd love that. Oh, jeez, I'm getting distracted. Do you want to go over this recruitment brainstorm thing together? My brain stormed so hard! It was like a brain hurricane! My brain is a natural disaster! <laughs> Sorry, that's terrible. Anyway, let's take a look at the list. Hmm. Make cupcakes. I was hungry, but it's a good idea, isn't it? Um, let me think about this. I mean, when we, when we, when would we have the chance to give people cupcakes? You know, like when they come to the club. What if we said we had free cupcakes on the flyers? I'm like kind of worried that we're bringing in the wrong kinds of people, you know? Wrong kinds? People who would just, who would just, who would come just for the cupcakes and leave. Oh, nobody would do that. That would be mean. 
But you know, I want to find people who are really into literature, even if they don't know it yet. Let's see, the next thing on the list, hunt for people reading books. I don't think I get it. Like, going around the school and finding people who are reading books, you know? Like, in the morning or during lunch? And we tell them to check out the literature club. Well, the problem with that is, like, wouldn't most people reading books just be doing it for an assignment or something? How will we know if they're just reading for fun? Um, well, we could ask them, but then we'd be bothering people who are trying to do schoolwork. I didn't think about that part. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. It comes with a lot more things than I can. Oh, your next idea is out is to hand out flyers rather than just putting them up on the wall. I definitely like to start doing that. I'm useful. <laughs> I never said you weren't. I just need to think. What would we tell people when handing them out? I don't want to just be like, join the literature club. Let's figure out how we can better engage people. What if we told them about the club activities and stuff? What club club activities? Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be my job to come up with that, right? A vision for the club. Okay, Sayori, pretend you're a normal person for a second. Wait, I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you know, like a random passerby who's getting a fire. How would you react to the idea of a literature club? Hmm, probably like, literature is stupid. I'm joining an anime club. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of a friend of mine. Okay, what if I said that we like do group reading and discuss it together? I would probably not do that. That's you, Sayori. Yeah, but that doesn't really sound fun to most people anyway. We need to really cast their interest, you know? Ugh, this sucks. Why is this so hard? Monica, don't be sad. What do you like about literature, Sayori? Me? Well, kind of what I said about the poem earlier. I think it gives you the chance to express yourself. Like, express yourself in ways you can't normally do. When you're just doing your normal day and talk to your friends. I mean, we all have so many thoughts and feelings that we just, that we just don't get to share, you know? It's like... intimate. Yeah. How do we get that across to people? It could be like, express your true self. Be intimate with us! No, do not say that. <laughs> okay, that's kind of... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh! What? What is it? I forgot all my things in my classroom. I must have gotten too excited and rushed here. Silly me. Rushed, but weren't... Ugh, never mind. Did you want to get your stuff then? I'll forget if I don't do it now. <laughs> well, I'll wait for you then. Okay, it'll only be a second. Sayori dashes out of the room, leaving Monica momentarily alone. Monica sighs, starts jotting her thoughts on a sheet of paper. Express yourself, but be who you want to be. Make new friends. Hmm. Discover a new you. Discover your heart. No. Write your heart out. No. Write into your heart. Write the way into your heart. Join the literature club. Write the way into your heart. Hmm. Wow, that's lame. Monica! Ah, you startled me. Sorry, but it's something important. On the way to my classroom, there was a girl reading a book. Reading a book? Let's hurry and recruit her. Wait, are you sure she's not just doing homework? I could tell she was really into it. Um, well, I guess we could take a look. Monica grabs one of her flyers and stands up from her desk. The two, then the two depart the classroom while with Sayori leading the way. Is it Yuri? This way! You don't have to run. <laughs> Sayori leads Monica over to a particular classroom, then lowers her voice to a whisper. See, in there, in here! Monica peers through the window. Sure enough, there's a girl sitting alone, intently reading a book. I feel like a creep doing this. You should go inside and talk to her. Me? You're the president and I probably, I would probably scare her away. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Monica takes a deep breath and typically enters the classroom. That was fast. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Why? What happened? Uh, um, well, I entered the classroom and she didn't even look up from her book. So I kind of just left the flower on her desk and then walked out. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Uh, but I'm sure she'll see it and want to join the club. I hope so. Shall we head back now? The two head back to the club room. Sari feeling rather accomplished and Maka still feeling a bit embarrassed by the encounter. Upon return, Monica and Sarah resumed their strategy meeting. They discussed various different kinds of recruitment tactics from professional to silly. After going through Sarah's list and with Monica coming up with ideas of her own, the two end in a better spot than from where they began. Well, I would say today was pretty productive, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we're starting to make progress. I can't wait to get some new members. Hey, what's this? So it appears at the sheet of paper Monica was jotting on earlier. Oh, oh, don't mind that. I was just thinking to myself. Join the literature club. Wipe right the way into your heart. That's so cute. <laughs> I thought it was a little over dramatic. But so it pauses and thinks for a moment. Y you know, I don't think you give yourself enough credit. What? What do you mean? Like. I don't know. I feel like I can tell from talking to you today. You seem like you're always afraid of doing something wrong. Yeah, but would you call yourself a perfectionist? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely am. I mean, I always have an idea in my head of how I want things to go. And it's like, I can't accept anything less than that. But I think in the end, it helps me try my hardest at everything. So I don't think it's that bad. Like with this club, we have such an opportunity to make it into exactly how we envision it. But it feels like we only have one shot at it. So I'm just really afraid of it deviating from that, from that, the vision. What's the vision? It's... Monica pauses to think, then shakes her head to herself. She sighs. I don't know. I just want everyone to... Monica trails off. Smiling, Sarah taps her finger against the sheet of paper. Right the way into your heart. I think what you're trying to do is to make the club that you need that you need the most out of anyone. Well, you're the one who knows yourself best, of course. But I'm here to help you. Monica returns to your smile. It's sort of amazing how kind you are. We're really gonna make this the best club ever. Sarah nods and the two remain silent for a moment, lost in thought. The only sound is the steady whisper of the air conditioner. And the only movement is the afternoon sunlight, trickling its way in and out of the moving clouds. Sari breaks the moment with a big yawn. Time to go home? You tell me. You're the president. <laughs> in that case, today's meeting is officially over. I look forward to tomorrow. Me too. Sari beams and grabs her things. You can go on ahead. I need a few minutes still. Oh, I can wait. That's all right. I just want some alone time. Hmm. In that case, Sarah waves enthusiastically at Monica. Good luck. Monica smiles and waves in return as Sarah spins her way out of the club room. Will something creepy happen? I guess not. All alone, she sighs to herself. It takes a minute to zone out. Zone out. She wants to prepare for the self-reflection encouraged by Sarah, but she decides it was something she probably needed right about now. The club that I need the most. I don't get it. I just wanted to start a club with more passion. So that I could use to help lead people to happiness. Literature is the key to that. Because it's the window to the real people inside of us. Underneath the person who's forced to always smile and blend in. The person who's forced to be perfect. Hmm. Monica suddenly notices a folder on the floor by her desk. Did Sarah leave this, leave this behind? Hope it doesn't have her homework in it. Rory and Monica opens the folder to check. Poems. It's a folder of poems. Become the flower. A feeling of joy is a flower plucked from the ground. The color, the scent, is so pretty in my hair. Every day I pluck some flowers as though they grew just for me. A lifetime of peace and nourishment yanked away in an instant. All for me, all for joy. I need more. I need more joy. I need more happy. Pluck, pluck, pluck every day. Pluck, pluck, pluck. So pretty in my hair. 
pluck, 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 you're going to die, and you too. Beneath my feet, a flower stands alone. It beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends? I look in every direction, and the field I stand in, the prosperous field, is a barren wasteland, the fruits of my labor, the carnage of my joy. And that is why I've decided I must become the flower. What the? Wait. Sayori. So I guess this is how she learns of her depression. Oh, so I have them all. I just have to do this part first. Okay, cool. So now we have part two. Okay. So yeah, we're going to run through all these then. Cool. And we have more poems and everything now. Oh. I've last her. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. I'm going to leave the rest of the week. Contact Ravi if you need to schedule server time. But I expect my jobs to run for a few days since we've collected so much data this week. How about we arrange a meeting to discuss the results when I return? Metaverse Enterprise Solutions. I've last her. Senior Engineer. Hmm. Weird. Oh, we got a new picture. Two new pictures. Finish side story. Trust one. Oh, no. And we got this one. And we probably have more. Yep, we have more poems now. So, yeah, that's probably how we're going to get the rest of these. By filling in. By, um... Acquire all Sayori's other poems. There was once a ladybug. It was so small, it took a really long time to crawl from where to there, or from here to there. It was very tiring to fly for too long. Nobody squishes ladybugs because they're cute. Does that make them better than other bugs? Do ladybugs know they're cute? I think they're too preoccupied with bug things. And so the ladybug crawled around and did bug things. The story wasn't really going anywhere, but I know you don't mind. I hope you think it's nice for being it's nice for being there anyway. Like ladybugs. Like this ladybug. The one who clings like a doof onto your sleeve because it knows you won't squash it. If it doesn't bug you, will you stay a while? Hmm. We have a new background. And yeah, that is it. And then on top of that, we now have more music, Peachy Pie. Oh, so they made songs specifically for um, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus because in Doki Doki Literature Club, the first iteration, they don't have the side stories. So that actually makes sense that they have a couple of extra stories. All right, so... Um, may not be the most exciting thing on the planet, but I would be interested in see to see where these stories go and like what they entail. So let's see, based off of this, it seems like whoever is on the picture is what the story will like who's in the story. So this is Monica and Sayori, so this would probably be Sayori and Yuri. This would be Natsuki and Monica, and this would be Sari and Natsuki. So, it may not be the, mo the most exciting thing on the planet, and I don't think anything creepy is going to happen, but I feel like it should be interesting enough to go into all these. So, we're going to keep doing these. All right, so um, that is it today. Today, we're going to continue with the side stories next time. Um, and then I might even see about getting that really good ending where we get the Dan Salvato um, letter. Um, so look forward to that. Almost done with this. All right. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.